Messiah! Motherfucker, would you stop doing this shit? Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, how's it going, homie? Damn. Yeah. Hey, uh, you seem incredible lately. Yeah, Trevor Phillips, but I doubt if you want a picture of him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't he uh, in, in the, the men's room? Nah, nah. Oh, shit. I gotta tell you. This is unbelievable. Oh, crap. That hurt. Man, you're not gonna believe this. They want to do a reality series about me. Yeah, it's true, man. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be huge, right? It's all about the incredibly glamorous life I lead. Huh? Good. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, except, you know, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna need somebody else to take some shots for me. Nah, no, I'm cool on that, dog. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, homie. All right, look, just if you get a chance, right? I mean, there's no rush, okay? Oh, and what I'll do is I'll send you a list of names and some links so you can see who they are, right? Yeah, well, whatever, man. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, you know, and I promise you, fame won't change me one bit. Yeah, I was afraid you would say that. Ah! Oh! Ah! Uh, I'm good! I'm good! I'm okay! Wow, everything's good! Ah! Oh, man, I feel like crap.
truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflam. Oh, Kiflam. really? Oh! What up, my brother? Check this shit out! Uh, you know Princess Georgina, that snooty English royal? She, and not really. She don't kick it in Chamberlain Hills much. Well, word has it she likes to blaze one for queen and country, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There's a deal going down right now. I need you to meet my contact outside Chico's hypermarket. And try not to blow his cover, okay? All right, man. This one I got. I'll hit you when it's done. Beverly's boy? Shit, I guess I am, huh? They're round back. Heavy security. I'd take a photo from the roof if I was you. Okay, I gotta go. This conversation never happened. Yeah, I got you, you homie. It's good. Jeez, man. What the shit? I'm a sticky cowboy. Mindless for passion, purple plunder, endless panic, whatever you want. Marvelous. I'll take it all. <laughs> okay. I am on holiday. I mean, apart from a few photo shoots with orphans and cripples, but like, I could do that in a coma. They really are the same the whole world round, you know? Okay, give me a second. Eh? So, like, back in England, my help would like totally do this for me, but they're like super scared of being arrested and totally banged by scary dudes in US jail, yeah? So, like, so ghastly. It's just, it's such a total drag. I mean, the UK taxpayer gives them money to protect me and be my servant, so they should just like do what I say. Even if it's like lick my shoe or buy me drugs or like perform a sex act on my dog, you know? The taxpayers should totally get their money's worth, right? I mean, back when we had an empire, the king could like chop people's heads off and stuff, and that was so much better. I mean, the queen is like my granny. You know, it takes hundreds of years of inbreeding to get recessed chin, buck teeth, and snout like nose like mine. I mean, I'm a rare breed. I should be like cherished and stuff. Okay, here you go. This should chill you the fuck out. Oh, well, one of you apes, please pay this poor man. Really, the Secret Service has gone down the pan. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. I really enjoy meeting the underclass. I'm so relatable in that way.
Jesus, no! The worst, as usual, egregious. Incredible, dude! That photo is solid gold! This is bigger than climate change! Imagine the headlines. All those highness puns. <laughs> I am gonna be rich! Don't you mean we? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mikasa, Tukasa, you know. I I'll catch you later. I need to get this to print. Man, I'm sorry, fool. Hey, yo, what's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase with the cops! Like, like, right now, bro! Apparently she's wasted! Get after them! See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted! I guess that's her! Man, how the fuck I get myself into this? Photo. What can I say? A great journalism. Our little sex tape sent sloppy poppy in a full blown meltdown. How does it feel to be on the front lines, dude? Shit, it ain't exactly Iraq, man. And you know what? I might feel a little less degraded if I was fucking getting paid. Ah, uh, all in good time. The truth comes first. I'll be in touch.
Hello? Careful! You have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready. I don't know about that. The truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as $5,000. Who? 5000 What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world, because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top-quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflam. Kiflam! Okay. Hey, Bev! Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot! You ruined the fucking shot! What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot! It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> Don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... But what about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? I'll just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one! Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, where, now, where were we? Uh, guys, do, do we have enough shots of me jumping around the corner? Uh, I think we're good. We'll cut Poppy's reaction in when we get back to the studio. Awesome! I can't believe the effort I used to go to for celebrity shots. If I'd known I could just get my agent to call their agent and stage it all, my life would have been so much easier. Yeah, well, welcome to the big leagues, my friend. Let's get some lead-in lines, and then we'll wrap. Sure thing. Uh, we're rolling? Good. Okay. Poppy Mitchell, all-American good girl turned deviant slut. For years, she's cultivated the image that butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. 
when all along it's been dripping with a different kind of protein. Well, is that too much? It's just weird, man. It doesn't even make any sense. Isn't butter a fat, not a protein? You're also literal. Uh, okay, okay, scrap that. Let's pick up. Uh, according to my insider sources, Poppy has been spotted here at the generic hotel. The question is, why? Is she really attending a charity fundraiser for starving children? Or is she getting tag-teamed by the cast of Medicate Me? There's only one man you can trust for the answers, and that's why I'm risking life and liberty to bring you the truth. And cut. That'll work. Let's call it a day. I'll get the shot of you walking to the car. Chow chow, babe. Ah! One way or another, motherfucker, I'm getting paid. Hello, Michael. Or should I say, Zolag? What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Ah. Uh, why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Solag! These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay. This is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall at any hurdle. Mm. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirits have email. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Kiflon. Kiflon.
Six places at once, it's still stuck on the Olympic freeway. Kiflam. So like, well done. This is the work of a true thesis. Be an antithesis. Enjoy that ride in the tenth paradigm. Still flashing blue. Imagine if the answer to everything was hidden in this bush. Or the answer to nothing, because that is the answer to which there is no question. Hello, Zondar. Kiflam. Hi, or, uh, Kiflam. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zola. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Yeah. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Zondar, nothing. I've become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, now you can meet your people. Oh. Kiflam. 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 
This area is a confirmed hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, bro. The device should light up blue when it finds a signal. Signal's dead, bro. Hey, whoa! Center yourself, bro! Why don't you channel that energy into something productive? Where did you find this guy? They're out there somewhere. Find that signal, bro. Keep going. Let the meter flow through you and you through it. The spirits take many paths. Try another one. That's it. Let the spirit guide you. Whoa. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Wh what's going on? Hey, this, it, I don't know. Shikuku car, is this it? If there is doubt in your mind, you're an antithesis and the metaverse will not reveal its secret. Guess we keep looking, bro. Do not despair, Zondar. You just need to try harder to rid your mind of ignorance, that's all. The meter only responds to your inner god, which must be set free to soar through the paradigms. Let it reverberate through your major organs. Resonate with your whole. You seem stalled, Zondar. Recalibrate, re-energize. I think I'm close. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So this is it, right? Do you doubt the truth? Do you? I doubt that you don't doubt. Now I'm doubting. Then the search must continue. Hey, Marnie? Shupar? This is ridiculous. Like, I don't have anything better to do. I heard that. You're being an antithesis again. Okay, come on then, little flashing box. Reveal the great truth to me.
This is it. I am 110% unequivocally positive this is it. Then you understand, Zondar. I understand that this is fucking it. Good. Then you know what it costs. Five grand. Ten. Whatever. Kiflum. Man, that fucking ocean. I could look at that all day. We are all dead, and we are all immortal. Krent, I feel so... Connected. Hello, Zondar. <gasps> Are you ready? For what? It is today and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, Agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? What? Are you even capable of listening, Zondar? Kiflump. Twenty-five grand? Jesus! I mean, crap! Cannot wait! Even though I'm everywhere all at once, I can't get to my phone right now. I'm not here, but I'm here. Just as you're not ready, but ready 
Take control of your existence at EpsilonProgram.com. Kiflam. Ah, Brother Zondar, I knew you'd come. I was told to come. Chris needs you to take this plane to initiate Boston. He awaits you in the east. Okay, detailed as ever. Truth must be revealed gradually until you're capable of understanding it. Eternal brother, brother, you get the secret plane from the secret location? Yeah, I'm in the top secret baby blue plane. Where am I heading? Unknow it, and you'll know. Look, can you just know it for me so we can move this thing along? Okay, but that's entry-level stuff, bro. Sandy Shores Airfield, I'll meet you there. Kiflom. Kiflom. Kiflam, bro. Kiflam. Got the money? Kiflam. Cool. And the plane? <laughs> Kiflam. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You're nearly there. It's gonna cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes in 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks. Oh! <laughs> You know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the nude. Just to prove we don't get turned on by it. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, Kiflam, man. Laters. Kiflam. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, here's a tree of truth. Now, he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. You'll need quite a bit of money. Someone will mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Kiflam.
Kiflam! Kiflam. Come on, you've discovered great things. Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. And you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities like me, as people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal for your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things, but it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kifla. Kiflam, Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, I'm so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, let's quell my antithesis. It's easy. Just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal and your attire and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam! Get flung. Given that to the guys about to kill you. Them bikers ain't right in the head. Who blasts a fool over a half a key? Drug dealers who don't get paid, that's who. Come here, man. It's all good. Let's make this right and be on our way. Okay, but this is as wrong as make. Shit, get out! There's more!
stuff actualizing over here? Brother, father, son, Kefla. Who's this? The divine truth, Chris Formage. I fought many mythical beasts in that desert in my previous lives. You are very near to quelling your antithesis. I've been following your progress very closely. You have? I'm everywhere all at once. One more mile, and you will have arrived at where you are. Make me proud, Zondar. Craft be praised. off the cane? Have you observed your inefficiencies? I guess so. Then they no longer exist. You are ready. Ready for what? To make another investment in yourself. Bring a generous tithe to the center in Vinewood, and I will personally receive you. Welcome, Zondar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the track together. Together. I'm writing the track here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today, I was speaking with Carpet Tom in the Paradigm Four. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. Ah, Kiflam. Then you and I can write the tract. Kiflam. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kiflam. Now, are you ready to write the tract? Kiflam. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraft is very impressed with your progress. Ah. Kiflam. Stay in convoy, Zondar. Chris is placing a lot of trust in you with this assignment. Give one. Zildor, do you copy? What is your ETA? I'm coming in to land now. Ah, yes, brother. I see you. Excellent. How much money is in? Here anyway. Why would that concern you? Any amount is insignificant when weighed against the value of absolute understanding.
work. Good work. Load it up, people. This is paradigm sensitive. We've got. All we've done for you. You can consider your enlightenment revoked, you son of a bitch! And you can consider this my refund. Don't you realize how powerful I am? I make or break Vinewood careers. I will destroy you. Gotta go, brother, brother. Kiflam. You are unsavable. You will be the fertilizer of the Tenth Paradigm. <laughs> 